Years. By the way, brother David is here with us, by the way. So he is looking for a church nearby from his home. And he found the Philcan. So brother David, welcome. Amen. He's a member of Rest Heaven. But he wants to visit this church because it's close to his residence. Welcome, brother David. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen generation A royal priesthood A holy nation God's special possession When God owns you And God uses you To belong to his kingdom And you belong to a royal priesthood That is God's wonderful blessings to you because all of us, we are God's possession. When God said, you are mine, and you will still remain on him. Until the last breath of your life, friends, folks, rest assured, if you are faithful, if you are faithful until the end of your life, God will acknowledge you as his special possession. God's people are chosen people. Friends, this is not only for the Jews. There are people who say that this is only for the Jews. No. If God said, but you are a chosen people, it means whatever your background, your, your history, your ethnicity. You are God's people if you accept Him as your Savior and Lord and remain faithful until the end. Holy nation, royal priesthood, God's special possession. According to Webster Dictionary, special chosen means God chose you in a special way. But Webster defined the word chosen. Means having been selected as the best or most upgrade. Right? I think three weeks ago we had a baptism. You, you see these kids here? They, they are newly baptized. God was so blessed for each one of us who accept Him as our Lord and Savior and baptized by immersion. Chosen means having been selected as the best and most upgrade. Selected or picked out special for some special quality. I will give you some example or illustration in Greek it says here eclectos because the New Testament was written in Greek and the Old Testament was written in Hebrew so we will locate and we will also find out what chosen means in Greek eclectos means elect or chosen Eclegume, meaning to Jews. When you are studying theology, these are the two biblical languages that you have to major. You cannot graduate in theology if you did not pass in Greek and Hebrew. <coughs> you must pass the Greek and Hebrew in order for you to obtain a, a bachelor's degree in theology. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 7 The Lord did not set his affection on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other people for you were the fewest we were the fewest of all people that's what we call the church was called Remnant, Remnant Church.
because we were the fewest among the people. Are you with me? The Lord did not set his affection on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other peoples. For you were the fewest of all peoples. Friends, I will ask you today, in our own perspective as human beings, would you like to choose this house? If one gives you freely, you will say, no, I don't like that house. Right? In our human instinct. If this house will give you free, would you like to accept it? Yes? yes? Even though you like it. It's like, like this. Right? How about if one will give you this one? I would rather choose this one rather than the old one. It was destroyed. Imagine if someone will give you this free, absolutely 101 person, you will, okay, thank you. And another is one. Maybe you will, you will change your mind. Okay, I don't like that kind of house. I like this house. Because you choose the best. The best one of the best house that you like. How about this one? If someone gave you a mango, which one would you choose? The rotten one? Or the good one? All of us will say, I will choose the good one. Right? I will choose the good one rather than the rotten one. How about the tomato? All of us will agree today that we will choose a good tomato rather than the rotten tomato. Isn't it? The vegetables. That's why our, our message in the book of Revelation is holistic. Holistic messages. We have to take care of our health as a Joseph generation. We have to take care of everything as a people of God, right? We have to eat the right kind of food in order for us to be a good, in good health. How can we praise God if we are sickly? Isn't it? That's why we have to choose the right kind of food that we eat. Would you like to choose the rotten vegetables? No. It is not useful for our health. Instead, we will choose the good one in order for us to be healthy. That's one of the best things that we have. We belong to among God's chosen people. And else, money. Would you like to choose the good car or the bad car? Right? I'd rather choose the good one. But friends, God is not like that. He didn't choose the good one. He chose all of us. He chose the sinner to love. He accept the sinner just like us, friends. But the human perspective we choose the best one, but God choose us. Whatever you believe, if you come to Him, He will not reject you. He will accept you just as you are. That's why He said, come to Him just, just as you are. Put on their form as the elect of God. Holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness and long suffering. Friends, when God chose his 12 disciples, they are not perfect. They are not perfect. They came from different walks of life. But they wholeheartedly dedicated 
his life to his cross. Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. So the last shall be first, and the first shall last. For many are cold, but few are chosen. Folks, even though the Bible says that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own possession. There are times when persecution comes in this world. Many people will turn their back on God. That's why Matthew chapter 20 verse 16 the first will be the last, and the last will be the first. Many are called, but few are chosen. When persecution, when trials comes on our way, we sometimes, we sometimes discourage in trusting God. Are you following? When troubles comes on our way, sometimes we fail to thank God. When trials happen in our lives, when circumstances happen in our lives, sometimes we feel discouraged to come to Jesus. When we encounter different kinds of troubles in our lives, sometimes we do not have a time for prayer to God. Friends, the Bible says, for many are cool, but few are chosen. I would like to bring your mind to our spirit of prophecy, book of testimonies for the church. Volume 9, page 21. Let us ponder this message, friends. It is not only by preaching the truth, not only by distributing the literature, that we are to witness for God. Let us remember, friends, that a Christ life, Christ like life, is the most powerful argument that can be advanced in favor of Christianity. Friends, the people will not convince through giving our literature. They will see who these people who gave me this literature. The Christ-like life character is the most important to belong to the kingdom of God. Friends, that can be advanced in favor of Christianity. Christ-like life is the most powerful argument. Even though thousands of literature, we will have an evangelistic series, but if we will not change our behavior and character, the words that the Lord will be in vain because these people looking at us how we live in a Christian way that's what the spirit of prophecy says what else Mark chapter 13 verse 20, 20 and except that the Lord has shortened those days no flesh should be saved but for the elect's sake whom he has chosen he has shortened the days for false Christs and false prophets shall rise and sh that show signs and wonders to, re to seduce if it were possible even to bear it. We will not be confident, Lord, our friends. We will not be confident of our faith. We will not be confident that we are chosen generation because Satan will Seduce even the very elect. It's like a roaring lion seeking whom he devour. 
That is why we encourage each one of us. Apostle Paul always encouraged each one of us to stand firm the truth. Be sober, be vigilant, because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking hope to live If we have no time to worship God, if we have no time to worship in our family, if we have no time to read the Bible, if we have no time to study his words, in the second, Satan is there to catch you, to remove you from the hands. False Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, to seduce if it were possible, even the better. Friends, I encourage each one of you to be on God's hand every time. The Bible says in our scripture reading, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's possession. But the devil is still there. We are not accepted. The more we come to Christ, the more temptations will attack. It is the purpose of God. It is the purpose of God to glorify Himself in His people before the world. He expects those who bear the name of Christ to represent Him in thought, word, and deed. The lives of professing Christians who do not live the Christ life are a mockery to religion. Do you know what it means by mockery? According to Britannica, a mockery is a behavior or a speech that makes fun of someone or something in a hurtful way. Mockery to a religion. It's called in the scriptures as covers, defy and renounce the truth. And good things. That's a mockery of religion. What else? It says here, represent him in thought, word, and deed. The lives of professing Christians who do not live in Christ's life are a mockery to religion. We all know that mockery is not a good word. It's like a shameful, a shameful act to a religion. They are provokers of others to wrong, strive, and evil. The most important for us, friends, as a chosen generation, as a children of God, we live in a Christ-like life character. It doesn't mean that you are perfect. The Christ-like life character are the examples where God sent his disciples to teach us to obey him and to be like him. God's people are chosen people, royal priesthood, holy nation, God's special possession. Chosen people raised or raised, we are chosen race because of our identity in Christ. Because our citizenship is in heaven, not here. Our citizenship is in heaven. We have a racial profile that transcends whatever may be part of your ethnicity or cultural background. Our citizenship here in Canada is temporary, friends. The most important, our citizenship, is the city of Jerusalem. That our name will be boom, and we all belong to the kingdom of God. If we remain 
faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Revelation chapter 2, verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 9. When you enter the land, the Lord your God is giving you. Do not learn to imitate. This is the warning to the Israelites on their way to the land of Canaan. When you enter the land, the Lord your God is giving you. Do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. In contrast to this verse, it is, it is another verse which Apostle Paul alluded in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. That we have to offer our bodies a living sacrifice. Do not conform to this word, but we have to renew our mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Because Israelites, after they left Egypt on the way to Canaan, they worshiped different idols. That's why God warned them. When you enter in the land, the land of Canaan, the Lord your God is giving you. Do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. Pagan nations, they encountered, but they didn't believe. They disobeyed the word of God. John 15 verse 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appoint you so that you might go and bear fruit that you will ask and so whatever you ask in my name the Father will give you. Friends, if we remain faithful and we have to renew our lives. We have to remove the detestable things that God is not pleasing in our character and behavior. We have to remove this. We have to put that aside, bury it, and we will become new. We will all say, Lord, thank you for changing my life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I'm here standing before you to accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for changing my life, my character, my behavior. You, God, choose us, appointed us that we have to bear fruit. We have to share the love of God to others. We have to extend the love that God has given to each one of us. Whatever the problems that you are going through, we have to look to Jesus. Turn it over to Him. And he will give you the desires of your heart. A chosen people of God is not a gospel. It's not a backbiter. It's not disobedient to his command. It's not a quarrelsome. And it's not a self-righteous. And so forth and so forth. Friends, let us remember, as a church family, we are one in the love of God. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither male or female, nor slave or free, but we are one in the love of God. A chosen people of God is not like this. A chosen people of God is an obedient son and daughter of God. A chosen people of God is a healthy people. A chosen people of God is lovable to all backgrounds. A chosen people of God is an obedient to His command. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, friends, 
He or she is a new creation. All things were passed away. All things, all our bad behavior and character. If we are backbiter, gossiper, etc., remove that. Bury it. Because we are new creation in the eyes of God. That's why God chose you and me to be a part of his kingdom. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have become new. Friends, I'm appealing you today. If you have burdens in life, if you face a different circumstances in life, if you have troubles, problems, trials, whatever that you are going through right now, don't be scared. Because God choose, choose to be a part of His kingdom. What? Look to Jesus. Don't look the witnesses of your past. Don't look the witnesses of our fellow believers. The good thing is look to Jesus. So that we will all be a part of his kingdom. We can say, I am belong to a chosen generation. A royal priesthood of God, a holy nation, God's own possession. And we will commit ourselves to Him. Lord, thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord. Even though I'm a sinner, I will recommit myself unto you. I will give my heart unto you. I will try my best by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to give my whole life to you and walk with you day by day because without you, Lord, I am nothing. So I have become before you that power to give myself to you. Would you be your promise to the Lord? You will say, Lord, Thank you for reminding me. Thank you, Lord, that the church family loves me. This blood. I encourage each one of you to stand with me and we commit ourselves unto the Lord. And say, loving Father, I'm here standing before you. I want to give my life to you. If that is your decision, I will pray for you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are here standing before you to recommend and vindicate ourselves in you. Lord, we cannot do it, Father. We need you, Lord. The Holy Spirit empowers us. We need the Christ life life. Help us to remove these bad behavioral and characters in us. And change us completely. Yeah. And love be there in our lives. Thank you, loving Father, for our church family, for our friends standing before you today. They give their hearts unto you. We dedicate our lives unto you. May we belong to your chosen generation. Belong to our royal priesthood. Belong to our holy nation and God's own possession. Lord, thank you so much for your promise that you will not leave us to forsake us. Thank you. 